my lovelies, Blash Lily here with another pick a card reading. And here I invite you to take a journey to your next incarnation, to your next life and find out who you're going to incarnate as, where it's going to happen, the time period and what your main sort of life mission is going to be like. Okay, so I decided not to use crystals this time. So I just want you guys to go based on the imagery and the energy that you are getting from these three piles. So this is pile number one, this is pile number two, and this is pile number three. So go ahead, take a deep centering breath in, make space for this reading, see which pile or which image you're most drawn to. If you need a little bit more time to make your decision, pause the video because we're going to go ahead and get started with option number one. Okay, my lovely. So if you were drawn to option number one, here are your cards. So what I can see straight away is that in this incarnation, you guys are very, very much drawn to power places, to ley lines, um, you know, the pyramids of Giza. Um, you guys are very much drawn to the Stone Age, Machu Picchu and other places where you feel that you guys are being activated. I feel that you absolutely love the stars. You have a special connection with the stars and that my love is is because you are a syrian um star seed a very very beautiful syrian star seed but i feel that you guys are feeling homesick but there is this special connection to the stars you always look up to the sky and think that home is somewhere there like you never felt at home uh, on earth and that's that's because this isn't your home so I feel you've incarnated here loads and loads of times um, and maybe this particular last incarnation was one of the hardest one that you had to do just because you want to finish the cycle of lessons that you came here to do. You want to finish the um, a cycle of sort of what you came here to change the um, energy ascension that you came here to sort of assist with I feel like you're going to be promoted it's like that energy of being promoted to like you know you know if you've been a soldier you've been a light warrior and now it's time for the next incarnation you want to incarnate at home like you're very very homesick so I feel like you're going to be incarnating on um on Sirius next time and Sirius is the brightest um the the yeah the brightest star in um in our sky so I feel like maybe guys you're very very attracted to that star to that brightest star um and you're going to be incarnating at home I feel like you guys um you know are going to be um about organization about helping other star seeds incarnate here on earth their connection um you know their sort of guide but from from serious you guys are not going to be on earth okay but you guys are going to be bringing harmony and balance you guys are going to be like somebody who's going to be very strategic or somebody who's going to be about organization because next lifetime next incarnation on serious you guys will want to you know it's sort of like take it easy like come out of the action like it's like after this life you will need a life another life to sort of chill relax take it easy um you know enjoy life and i'm seeing like this is going to be a beautiful beautiful place um it's not something that we would be able to see as humans. It's something that only sort of this other type of vibration can perceive. But I'm seeing that this is going to be a very, very beautiful place. You guys are going to enjoy lots of things. And that organization, it's almost like, um, I'm hearing like, yeah, it's almost like, you know, this military strategy. Um, you're going to help the star seeds that are on earth you're going to help them you're going to help them with downloads because i'm seeing those energies of being like of having downloads um yeah bringing harmony balance messenger you guys are going to be channeling the messages to star seeds i feel for most of you it's going to be about their magical powers you're going to be helping them with activating their dna something that you know like this sort of i feel like you have an appointed general for you as well at the moment and there's this connection and and it's your soul family and that's why you feel that you're so like drawn to the stars and you and like some of you you can't even wait to get home 
um, you know, you're going to be teaching them how to follow intuitions um, in their intuition. You're going to be working with a lot of people who are being um, bullied, who are being misunderstood. Um, I feel that during the earth time, this is going to be in the future. This is still going to be in the future where star seeds are going to be more common. Uh, it's going to be the next generation of star seeds. This is what I'm hearing. Um, but at the same time, I feel like you guys were once in current, like you had a lot of incarnations on earth, but I feel like you guys were, there's a strong link to Egypt that I'm seeing. And even in Egypt, you were this like messenger of gods I'm hearing. Um, and you give people hope. There's something about you where you give people hope, where you um, open up people to their true desires. Okay, you're helping star seeds activate themselves and therefore activate others and raise the vibration, raise the frequency of earth. And that's absolutely gorgeous. So you guys, yeah, I feel like you, you guys are going to be at home and sort of working remotely, if that makes sense. But you guys are going to be bringing messages, bringing balance, um, activating spiritual powers within the star seeds that will be incarnating on Earth. And maybe not even on Earth, maybe in, on some other planets. I'm just seeing that you're somebody who helps with communication, who helps with strategy, who helps keep the troops happy. This is what I'm hearing, who helps... Um, like motivate the troops motivate the star seeds that are on earth because the um on earth especially like the energy is so like can get very very low and can get very very dense and a lot of star seeds because they're not used to this energy even through like many many incarnations um they will need encouragement they will need um you know they will need that hope, they will need those downloads, they will need those activations. So I'm hearing things like light language, things like uh, crystal grid activation, all those beautiful, beautiful things that help star seeds here on Earth to sort of help raise the vibration of this beautiful planet. But where you guys are going to be, I'm seeing that there's going to be a lot of peace, a lot of beauty it's like a beautiful beautiful place it's a beautiful place um a serious it's it's like there's a lot of it's very it can be quite similar to earth but everything is just like i'm seeing like more vivid colors i'm seeing like the sounds there are very beautiful it's almost like everything has a vibration has a sound there's this aura about it um i'm seeing that you guys might enjoy like um, you know, there's like places like with uh, grass and sand. There's something about the sensation of your feet, um, you know, of your feet connecting to the terrain underneath you. It's beautiful. I don't know if you guys in this incarnation, if you really like walking barefoot on the grass or like on the sand or even on the carpet, like you just like your feet to touch the ground, to feel that sensation. Um, but yeah, and you guys are going to be like this magic, this really like helping people's wishes come true. Um, like maybe, <laughs> I don't know what it is sometimes, maybe even waiting until the last moment for that miracle to come through. But it's like you always also making sure that the star seeds that are going to be incarnating on Earth, that they also learn their karmic lessons. It's like you're making sure it's like you're sort of strategizing here as well. All right, my lovelies, so that's all I have for power number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it resonated. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos. If you'd like a personal reading, you could always email me. My email's in the description box below. All right, my lovelies, take good care of yourselves now. Bye. All right, my lovelies, so if you were drawn to option number two here, your card. So what I'm seeing is that next incarnation, your next life, 
you are most definitely going to be a beautiful lady very very feminine but at the same time very very fierce um, you guys are going to be very much in touch um, with your sensuality and sexuality um, you're going to be incarnated on earth you're going to be incarnated um, I feel that this is more like the um, time period of renaissance uh, it could be France it could be England I'm seeing that for um, a select few of you, we are talking about Egypt, but mostly this area, uh, this um, this <laughs> this option, not this area, this option. I'm mostly hearing England, France, Europe. Um, okay, uh, quite possibly um, some places of um, of America, but mostly this is for me, this is like European energy coming through here. Okay, so I'm seeing that you guys are going to be in a credibly creative, but let me tell you your next incarnation, it is going to be, woof, it's going to be filled with ups and downs and um, I feel that a lot of you guys, you're going to be incredibly creative, but that creativity is going to come from a place of um, being really, really broken. So you guys will experience, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be authors, healers, especially for women, or, you know, there's going to be a lot of healing of um, the ancestral line of ancestral lineage but that's connected to the women okay because i feel like a lot of you um again there's a lot of energy of the uh, base chakra and the uh, sacral chakra that needs to be healed i feel like you guys will have to go through the dark night of the soul in your next incarnation, rock bottom surrender to the alchemy of life because this needs to be really, really healed. This ancestral healing as well. For a lot of you, it's going to be about love and friendship. Um, I feel that some of you guys might be um, into the same sex relationships, either in this incarnation or in your next incarnation. And like I said, the next incarnation, because time and space doesn't really exist. So you guys, for us, it would be like going like backwards. Okay, so going back into like, you know, 18th century, like so 16th century for some of you. But it doesn't matter. What I'm seeing is that you guys will have to uh, work through a lot of issues such as intimacy issues, creative blocks, um, overcoming the your like stop, like stopping to ceasing to suppress your natural desires, ceasing to suppress your femininity your sexuality your sensuality and like i said for a lot of you it's going to be um you know about same-sex relationships um uprooting it's going to be about maybe like in this incarnation or in one of your past incarnations there was this thing where you your soul choose to experience what it's like to uh, be, uh, I don't know, like homophobic or whatever. And then then your soul sort of said, okay, well, I know what it's like to sort of um, be homophobic. And now I want to experience what the other people, like what the other person might, might have felt when I was like acting this way towards them. So this is going to be incarnation to correct the past wrong so that you can, your soul can experience what it's like to be on the receiving end and learn the lesson okay um but you guys are going to spend um some time alone um to get that creativity i feel like you guys are going to shut yourself out from the world because you're not going to be accepted because you're not going to um you're not going to accept yourself like during the first times i feel you guys are going to grow up in a very strict um, home where being creative, experiencing, uh, expressing yourself, you know, expressing your sexuality is strictly, strictly forbidden. And I feel that you guys are going to write a beautiful, beautiful book, a beautiful novel or some sort of um, healing or create a healing piece of art. But for, for a lot of you, I feel that this is going to be um, a book that is going to stay uh, you know, it's going to be published and it's going to stay for a very, very long time after you to help you heal. And the funny thing is, in one of your 
other incarnations you might end up reading the book that you wrote in your past incarnation on that very subject and you know like some books or some pieces of art we're just so drawn to we're just so resonating with them it's we're just like it's almost like you know what's going to happen on the next page and that could be because you were actually the one who wrote that book a long long time ago or you know you were the subject of that book or you were somehow connected because it's funny how we all are connected. Um, but I am seeing that, you know, you, you guys are going to spend some time alone um, to get the creativity coming through. You guys might be 33 right now or 33 is an important number. 33 is all about Christ consciousness as well. Um, so there's this uh, energy of awakening. I feel like you will be awakened to uh, your um, beautiful feminine power. Uh, at the age of 33, either in this incarnation or in the next incarnation, your sexuality will completely transform. You will be much more open. But there's this healing, healing and forgiveness of yourself. Um, you know, sometimes it's that forgiveness that takes um, a lot of people say, you know, like, why? Why would we? suffer for something we did in our past life if we can't remember what it is like what's the point of karmic lessons in this life if we can't remember what we did and the truth is the soul remembers and sometimes a lot of things happen on our subconscious mind where once we've learned the lesson because our subconscious mind and our soul and our dna trust me it remembers it remembers you at some point treating people who um who want to be in a relationship in the same sex, rela sex relationships badly and now it has come for you the time has come for you to experience what it's like to feel unaccepted to feel that you have to suppress your desires and so on and so forth um, so our soul remembers our soul chooses to have these lessons our soul chooses to incarnate um you know in a certain place uh, in a certain at a certain time and yes it can be very very difficult to accept sometimes because of all the um, suffering that we go through and we can't possibly fathom how we could choose this for ourselves but it is um, a, you know our soul contract us choosing what it is we decide to go through the thing to remember is that it's like at the end of the day we are a beautiful beautiful soul and we will so we're endless, literally endless. We're part of this divine, uh, you know, and we will incarnate over and over again if we so choose. OK, but I feel like whatever it is that you're it's not going to be in vain. You're suffering for a few years of this incarnation. It's not going to be in vain. It's going to help heal loads and loads of people, loads and loads of um, women, men, you know, who um, who want to experience love and life from a different perspective it's going to help them accept themselves and that's absolutely gorgeous so it's basically you know like very very good and very useful thing that you are going to do but it's going to be you know about being cracked open but the thing is guys um what i'm seeing is that after 33 either in this life or on that next incarnation uh, by the way another thing is your friends are going to be there and your friends are really going to help you okay so it's not like you're going to be all alone even as in, uh, in the hermit mode you're going to be um you're going to be helped you're going to be supported and then you're just going to get that creativity from above from the divine itself to write that book to help people heal to correct the past wrongs to um help people move on you know help people get a different perspective and that book is going to be quite revolutionary uh, for its time but it's going to be it's going to be very well well accepted okay and what i'm seeing is like towards the middle of your life i'm seeing that you are guys going to be able to enjoy love and enjoy life okay you guys are going to be i'm hearing open and i'm hearing like you would have healed that lineage and your life will change okay and i feel like you guys will be much more open to life you guys will let that love in you will accept yourself for who you are and you will let you will be like this beacon of light for other people 
I am seeing that you guys are going to be living, uh, you know, with the same sex partner. Um, I feel like it's not going to be like marriage per se, but you guys are going to be happy. You guys are going to be happy. Like, I feel like you are going to stick with one person for like throughout your whole life. There are going to be quite a few years where you're going to be spending alone or spending with the partners of opposite sex just to keep up appearances, but it's not going to be happy. And then, you know, you can't do things that make your soul unhappy for a very long time because sooner or later the energy just just breaks through you and you're like no no i can't do that it's either i'm going to be authentic um or i'm not going to do this at all whatsoever uh, it could be that in your life, in this incarnation, even if you are attracted to the opposite sex, you might be hiding your sexuality, sensuality, you might be denying yourself a lot of pleasures for one reason or another. And that could be because of like the past incarnations that you had as well, because all, all of the incarnations are very much connected. Um, and we are like, you know, it's all in our in our DNA and, you know, certain strands of our DNA get activated by certain things and during certain incarnations. Um, but yeah, I'm seeing that, you know, like I said, it's going to be a very good thing that you do. It's going to be very, very beneficial and you're going to be happy. You really are going to be happy. Um, I'm not seeing children, biological children, but you guys might like adopt or be auntie aunties or uncles um you know like you're gonna be happy this is the thing like it's not going to be a standard relationship it's not going to be a standard life at all but you guys are going to be incredibly incredibly happy like past like you know your 30s during your 30s it's all going to be about soul searching about creativity about healing and i feel like once um like for your lineage that healing energy is going to do miracles literally miracles like you will see other people uh, other people's lives around you change for the better um it's like this beautiful healing light that is going to transcend through space and time all right my lovely so that's all i have for power number two i hope this reading resonated with you i hope you enjoyed it please like share and subscribe make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos if you'd like a personal reading you can always email me my email is in the description box below all right my lovelies take good care of yourselves now guys bye all right my lovelies so if you're drawn to option number three here are your cards I am absolutely loving this energy. So you guys are star seeds as well. You guys are light workers, okay? But your next incarnation is going to be a very, very interesting one. So I am seeing that some of you guys are going to be choosing to incarnate in ancient Egypt just because there's this energy of you guys being so, so connected to it, okay? The energy of ancient Egypt. Some of you guys will be incarnating in um in south africa um some of you guys will be incarnating in russia and eastern europe okay um some of you guys i'm seeing that you guys are going to be in a sweden or denmark places like this maybe belgium as well um there's going to be yeah like i said there's quite a few of you so the energy here is very very different but i'm seeing for most of you this is going to be Egypt or we have the continent of Africa um, coming through very very strongly here okay and like I said we have some Russia we have Ukraine uh, we have uh, Eastern Europe okay so when it comes to times I'm still seeing that this is um, is this is still going backwards in the in the past so obviously ancient egypt that is pretty much self-explanatory um the funny thing is with the continent with those of you who guys are going to be um incarnating on the confident of africa this is going to be future this is going to be like almost year 3000 something okay this is going to be very very much advanced the um the continent itself is going to really really flourish the uh its inhabitants are going to be absolutely different it's going to be i feel like it's going to be like a very this is going to be a place of power empowering place 
okay and you guys are going to be dealing with children uh, loads and loads of you guys who are going to be incarnating in your next life um you know on the con continent of, of Africa or uh, in Egypt, it's going to be a lot about healing the children. Um, now, some of you guys will be incarnating as the golden children, okay? This is going to be um, somebody with beautiful magical powers, especially the powers of healing. You know, this is um, somebody who will heal with their hands. This is somebody who will have the power of divination, um, okay? And this is somebody who is going to help guide people, guide children. You guys are going to be very fertile, so most probably for most of you, you guys are going to be a woman. I am seeing that you guys are going to give birth to quite a few children. So I am seeing it's like three, four children. For some of you, it's going to be even five children, okay? Because you guys are going to start young. Some of you guys could be 37 or 29. Um, there's going to be loads and loads of healing. I feel that most of you, you guys are going to be leading quite wealthy life, but you will be um, stolen from. You will be stolen from um, at some point, like big time. Somebody is going to steal from you big time. And for some of you, it's going to be your heart. Okay, and you might go into sort of um, this energy of being cold, being alone, being very, very um, defensive, okay, and with the nemesis, it could be somebody who goes goes towards revenge, um, and I feel that like you're going to use magic uh, as, like to punish your... Um, your enemies you're going to use divination magic spell works you guys might be you guys might end up actually poisoning somebody because um you know there's this energy like they 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 will hurt you so badly it will may might even have something to do like um you know where they stole your child or something like you know this like very um and hearing somebody who could possibly be very very jealous and they might steal your child but and then you sort of find them years later and then like you you put like like they, you try to poison them or you try to get your revenge or something along those lines but you guys are going to be a guide for children um you guys eventually you, you guys are going to heal this energy um okay she who presents awareness and acceptance so your next sort of incarnation is about the acceptance of people the acceptance of your shadow self very very important the acceptance of your shadow self and the acceptance of you know being special the acceptance of you know being magical the acceptance of being um, of having those beautiful powers but you are going to be very very wealthy um wherever you incarnate you guys are going to be like literally <laughs> covered in gold because we have gold here and we have this golden energy coming through here the goddess of 10,000 names isis uh the priestess so i feel like yeah you guys some of you guys might incarnate in italy as well but it's all going to be about you know forgiveness all about going to be um about learning how to forgive learning to embrace your shadow side learning to make your heart melt again this is what i'm hearing you guys are going to be very very good guides some of you might choose to incarnate actually as the thief as the person who who's able to steal somebody's heart or somebody who uh, had to steal like a lot of money um, that's quite possible as well but again that's because you need to heal that um, energy that belief that this is the only way that you can achieve something is to buy steal is by stealing it um, you know because thieves usually they have this thing where they believe that they're not worthy that they can't get it by any other way and the only other way and the only way that they can have something is to steal it um i am seeing that a lot of you guys also in this pile you guys are going to be very very inventive uh you guys are going to invent some sort of thing that's going to help other people um you guys might be into inventions right now into like things that make life easier um you guys might you guys are going to be very very talented and quite innocent and i feel like you guys might have 
have your innocence stolen at the early age and that's why you might also like you know have this energy of um, having to find this person who stole your innocence at an early age uh, you know might might have abused you at some point and you know you will want to you will make it your life mission to find him and like hurt him this is what what i'm seeing but the truth is it will be about accepting it will be about healing it will be about seeing that you know you might even like get pregnant very very early and then sort of be thinking about an abortion or whatever but then you will decide against it and it's going to bring this like golden child into the world that's going to really um, help you understand a lot of things and help others like get the healing that they need through you um through this child but yeah this is absolutely this is absolutely beautiful i feel like for some of you you might have um you might have a creative idea being stolen from you like for example you wrote a book or you made a movie or whatever um and like somebody comes and steals it from you or steals the creative rights and you like avenge it and you like revenge it and uh, the justice will prevail and it's another thing for you guys here is uh, in this incarnation is to learn how to stand up for yourself is to learn how not to just let people walk all over you okay and to just you know fight for yourself fight for your right and be the light worker you know because being a light worker it's not all about just you know like spreading love and light and it's about showing people like you know that um that they're strong that they can stand up for themselves that you know that they can't let other people take advantage of them you know it's that empowerment as well um and i feel like a lot of you guys, you might have issues with empowerment uh, in this incarnation as well. You might feel or like, you know, God forbid something like um, something like sort of, sort of abuse happened to you when you were younger and you might feel like you don't have that power within you anymore. This is also like um, this incarnation is going to be about healing that as well okay and sort of so when you do incarnate further on and i feel like you will incarnate you enjoy like you enjoy incarnating on earth you like earth unlike pile number one you really like earth you like you want to feel what it's like to live in russia what it's like to live in africa what it's like to live in america what it's like to live in egypt you know you see it as a game you see it like your higher self it's like it sees this life and every incarnation as a game like imagine a computer game you choose your character and you're like okay great let's do this let's do this this and 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 this okay um so you guys are really going to learn a lot and you will like towards the end of your life i feel like you guys are going to live um like past 80 like you guys are like gonna have a full life um you, you're gonna get that empowerment you're gonna be really really okay with your power you guys are going to have a lot of children so it's going to be like this good old family i am seeing that you guys are going to marry as well or you guys will like um, marry somebody who's quite wealthy so i'm just saying that there's going to be a lot of wealth here uh but obviously like a lot of wealth might attract a lot of thieves a lot of thieves but um again like i said some of you could actually incarnate as those thieves and you know or have that thief mentality um and then end up actually being rich and seeing like well okay well hold on a minute i don't need to steal anything from anybody to be rich i can just open up to it and uh, you know and the universe will sort of uh present me with opportunities to to go and get it but um yeah my lovely so that's all i have for pound number three i hope you enjoyed it i hope it resonated with you please like share and subscribe make sure to hit that notification button so you don't miss out any of my other upcoming videos and take good care of yourself my lovely Please. Bye.